So I'm going to organize this funnel and I just want to show you my process. So it's a common thing to have number of emails inside the sequence but since this is my first time working on this account then we're gonna need to recognize the existing item first and then slowly arrange it. So I managed their membership account, but for the emails, I just started helping them on this one. So we're gonna try to organize this as much as possible. And then you're also gonna see me connect this to different funnels based on the offer. So let's do that. So when I opened this campaign, there was a draft emails like this and I'm not really sure what to do with them or this one so I'm not gonna delete this templates I'm gonna ask the client first but for now I'm just gonna leave that in here and then with a note that this is archive emails and when I noted that one next is I'm gonna try to um, close this left navigation so that we have more space but in here as you can see we need to move things around to try to understand better what's sort of happening in here. So I am, it's very clear that there are some emails and delays here that aren't really connected to this flow. So again, I'm gonna move them at the bottom here and then I'm just gonna put another note. I'm gonna move them, I'm gonna move this here and then I'm just gonna try to organize it to so that I could like properly read what are this email about. Okay, and then there is this timer which for sure it's not really like necessary. So three days waiting and so on. But again, I'm I'm gonna leave this for now. But the emails just to make sure no one get them. I'm gonna turn that to draft. And again, this part here I recommend. I'm going to recommend to the client that we remove it or else save it somewhere, the templates, if um, she's concerned. But just going to group them together at the bottom part for now. So now we have the flow, as you can see, the arrows, it points here and here. So we're going to try to um, give it more space because what was um, I was instructed or informed that this campaign was two weeks email so this is a two weeks email and i need to check if that is correct based on the delay in here i'm just gonna move this try to align Okay, I think that is much better now, but let's just give or organize this more. Now, whenever I am designing or creating um, a funnel or a campaign inside Keep or Infusionsoft, I like to put some three column spacing per um, item. So example here, if I, I'm going to move this first part. I'm going to try to align it in here and I'm just going to zoom in. Okay, so example, as you can see this should be aligned and then I like to put some three column space. So that's the first email, second one and so on. Now let's just move this here. Okay, so usually this is my format. As you can see, we have the timer and then the email tool. Rather than leaving it with untitled email, you should put some indicator in there. Now, on the contact records, um, you could see what is the subject and the from. 
but if you don't um, name the email tool properly it's also gonna show up in here so it's much better to name that properly here so maybe as an example here i'd like to name this email one and then i'm gonna continue in here so three column three column and then next is what's stopping you as you can see some of the emails here was also copied or has the email subject line before keep was not including the email or subject name in here so that's why this is a part of the i think this is um this is infusionsoft and before infusionsoft does not have that so in my clients who have their infusionsoft account for a while it's a good practice to include the subject line here so an example is we could also um do that so in here i could copy that part so rather than just email one, I could do email one and then something like that one. And then this one is email two, like that. So it's clear. So let's continue. This one, we're gonna copy. Could just also copy the entire subject line if you like that. So sometimes what I do is I add just some indicator, like example, this one. So as you can see, if you format it like this, it's going to be hard because it's overlapping things. So one of the trick um, rather than putting everything in one line is you could actually do like a snake um, pattern. So that you could read long text properly. You could still keep the three column gap. And then here, I'm just gonna continue. This one is email four. Email five. Six. And then timer seven. Okay, so let's just check. This one is email five. And then we're gonna open this one and grab the title. Okay. So we are doing this format because whenever you are in your campaign, sometimes you just want to understand what that email is about. So any label or indicator that that's that email is all about is going to help. You could even drag a note in here and put more details if you think that's necessary. Because sometimes you just want to scan and see if the order is correct or maybe you want to swap some offer and change something. Having this label properly is really going to help and having them spaced out properly is also um, going to help. So we're gonna, we are now in week one. As you can see, email one to email seven. The delay is one day per email. So we're gonna proceed to email number eight so i'm just gonna name this email eight since it's not that one does not have original name it was just entitled email nine um email ten 
email 11 email 12 email 13 email 14 email 15 Okay, so now it's more clear, like again, you need to zoom out, of course, to see everything, but if I just like, if I'm someone who's visiting this e um, campaign for the very first time, I for sure will understand um, much easier what is going on inside here rather than the original um, format that we had. Um, so in here, it was very clear that this is week one, this is week two, and then lastly, there's uh, email 15. So let me just check what that email 15 is. So this is the subject line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach that in here. So I was informed that this is a two-week email, but actually it's more. There is another, um, it's a 15, 15 email in this funnel so i could talk with the client regarding that if this makes sense and i'm gonna ask for their help if they need some adjustment based on their number of emails in here but so far we have the layout more clean again i'm gonna example i think email 8 does not have an indicator And then I'm just going to quickly scan through if this email still makes sense. I mean, the, the label was still making sense because this one says three, three fear. So I could be more detailed in that one. And then in here. Again, just as an admin, it gives you more idea what is inside this email. So I recommend you doing this kind of format. And then email 13.
Okay. And then if it's really long like this one, what you could do is like divide it. So example, email 13, like that one. If it's really long and if you think that's going to help or else you could shorten the subject as well. The purpose of this, again, this is not visible for your contact when they receive this email. It's just for us admin working on this funnel. So it's easier to track and see what is um, inside. Now I could even, as noted, put some notes. So I could do, this is, let's just say, I'm gonna do an HTML H2 tag. And I'm gonna do week one emails. And then I'm going to duplicate that and I could say in here, um, week two emails and then there is a follow up in here. So I'd like to also note that. So week three emails, we have one for the week three. And then that's it. So we have this uh, week one, week two, and then week three. And then we have some draft. And I think I, we should remove this. I'm going to recommend it to the client. But this is now for sure much better in terms of tracking how many delays, how many emails are inside, um, inside your funnel if you like format it this way. So numbering your um, email tool properly, putting enough space so that they are much easier to um, navigate through and understand what's happening will really help and improve your funnel. So I hope this video helps. And if you have any question, um, let me know.